Let's talk about the Street Fighter 6 open beta. The footage you're seeing is everything that I captured on PS5 over the weekend. I, uh, I, my first match was in modern mode, but I actually played a classic Kimberly. And let me tell you something, that was brutal. I got my ass beat. My second match, I still did not change my control from modern to classic and I ended up playing this Ken. So I had a really good time doing this, by the way. I think modern was a lot of fun because you don't have to think too much about a lot. But I will say the thing that I found awkward is that you'll only get so far in modern. And it's like you're at a disadvantage because of that auto combo. It is nice to kind of see the parrying system in motion. It is nice to kind of feel powerful and feel connected in a way. But when you're playing modern, you can tell that you're going to be at a disadvantage. Now, I am gonna say one thing. This open beta period, and I was hoping to get into the others, but I didn't. This open beta period has made me want to play Street Fighter VI seriously and actually grind the game. I did not play Street Fighter V much. I think I played it when it first came out and then completely gave up on it because I just didn't like the netcode. It was awful, it was ugly, and it killed me. Street Fighter VI, for the most part, this open beta, smooth. I know that other people had issues. I saw the chat when I was in the lobbies, but I had pretty much no issues. I had a great time playing a lot of these players. It was really fun figuring out the game. I will say my only real big issue with the open beta is that there wasn't really a dedicated training mode. So if you're trying to actually learn a character or lab like I wanted to, you're going to absolutely have to sit down in an arcade cabinet and run the risk of getting your ass beat while you're trying to train. <laughs> I, was, I was confused at that. And then also I was like, how do I switch my main character? And then how do I switch my controls? So. Whenever I got that locked down, it ended up starting working out. But because of the time I had with Street Fighter VI, I am gonna do a giveaway. So I'm looking forward to that. All you have to do is just like the video, comment on your favorite Street Fighter game uh, or moment, and then subscribe. That's all you have to do. Everything here on out is ranked footage. So I started at the bottom because I didn't know what I was doing and then slowly began to learn how to play the game, how to get acclimated to all the systems. And honestly, I love the new changes to Ken. They made him so much more aggressive and he actually feels far different from any other iteration of him, which I really love. I also think that the inclusion of the drive meter is something that I am praising to the high heavens. It is so much fun to absolutely get these parries in, get these really drive rush counters, go into these, <laughs> go in, like extending combos. It's just a blast. And in some of the matches where I'm actually doing okay, I was just having a good time. I think with all the footage here, I went on a nine game win streak, but mostly because I was playing against a lot of really new players to the fighting game genre. I've actually played Street Fighter before and Ken's always been my main. And look, just because my name is Ken doesn't mean I love Ken like that. That's not true, I'm a heat. I'm just really vain like that, honestly, I'm very selfish. But for the most part, I love the way this game controlled. Um, I love the fact that it felt good to play. The game was incredibly responsive and just, I don't think there was a single moment where I was frustrated in any of the matches. And it was really cool because I didn't just get to play the Ryus and the Kens and the chun -Li's. I got to play some of the other new characters. Um, I think Jamie might be one of the ones I wanna practice with and lab with. I think Kimberly definitely. I The moment I saw her just destroy me, I was like, I have to play this character. She looks so cool. It's just I didn't have enough time to learn anything. I think every character was pretty well represented, except for Guile. I didn't see many people main Guile. I don't think I played anyone who main Guile throughout my entire ranked experience, which was weird. I got to play a little bit of him and practice with him. I do like some of his changes. They are really effective. I do know that he's pretty daunting to play because he is a charge character. And in the past, a lot of charge characters 
require you know you being a technical individual and understanding that you have to have that charge in mind to be completely effective with them beyond that though i think there was a couple juries it really felt like i ran into a lot of kens a lot of reuse a couple chun lees every now and then and then maybe one or two kimberly's but hey listen if you main kimberly you're the goat. I'm, I'm so serious. That character is so fucking cool and so fast. I'm so glad that if they're... Listen, if they're not going to include Guy in this game, let's have a character who can be as good or better than Guy. Cool. I'm all about that stuff. Yeah, the match you're seeing in the footage right now is the modern controls versus the classic. And pretty much it's just me having better control of Ken. And then the other thing is... I did not know that if two drive impacts hit each other at the same time, you just bounce off to the edges of the screen. I thought that was amazing. My mouth dropped literally when that happened. I think that for the most part, once you kind of get the ability to go into training and have that drive rush parrying drive impact training and get used to it, I think everyone's going to have a good time and be fairly effective. I will say, though, that it was just a little bit frustrating that there wasn't a dedicated training mode to help players acclimate and learn the system. But I will say that after a while, when I started getting into my rank matches and started playing characters or players who were a little bit more acclimated to the game, it was a lot of fun. I don't think I was aggressive with my drive meter as other players. Like, there was a lot of people who were just burning right through it, trying to get follow-up impacts and... I was not about that. I was really conservative. I just kind of lent it to maybe sometimes I'd have a parry or do a drive impact, something like that. But beyond that, I would try to save my meter for some EX abilities. That's it, honestly. I felt like the moment I got really used to Ken and was really able to kind of get my legs back under me, so to speak, in regard to playing fighting games, it became throw central. <laughs> which is just peak gameplay and really typical for a lot of fighting games. Listen, if you're on wake up, I'm just going to grab you and throw you. And it's cheap, but it's incredibly effective, so it just happens. I just felt like I'm down the line when I get to lab with Ken. I can't wait to kind of see just how crazy some of the drive combos can be and just how effective they can be over time. I want to see, like, I, I saw some footage of other players just completely abusing it and being okay within a weakened state, but I just felt that that type of vulnerability against someone who's far more experienced than me is just death. I don't think that's a good idea for a lot for newer players. I think my mindset has always been to take one combo and really optimize that combo, and that's really all I tried to do. If I could kind of chip away and zone you and then win the neutral ground i guess i would try to do that but for the most part i was really trying to keep away from other players and then absolutely abuse the space when i could get it i will say though i think that i'm going to play street fighter 6 on full release on my fight stick i did i played on pad i didn't mind it but it, to get like fully optimized combos i don't think the game pad is going to work out for me that's just my preference but I played almost all of the beta with a gamepad. I still had a great time, though. Um, beyond casual and ranked matches, there were the extreme matches. I got to play one, which was like Tug of War, pretty much just having the bull run at you. I thought that was a lot of fun. It was so goofy <laughs> because you could punch the bull and have them run back and forth. I thought that was really fun. And um, I really like the fact that the game center cycles out its games because i think on friday and part of saturday it was final fight which you can play the entire final fight through and there's a challenge in which you can play it on one token which i thought was really cool and then it was super street fighter 2 i'm interested to seeing what other games they cycle through there because it could be very interesting to see what tournaments could be ran the tournament feature i don't think was working i think they went down for maintenance but I didn't see any real tournaments up, but it looks like Street Fighter 6 is going to be just a monster in terms of features. You have World Tour, which if you did not play 
the demo for World Tour, it's still available. It's It was fine, but I think that as soon as you are able to get other coaches, get other abilities, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Here's the one thing I absolutely love, though. I love the fact that while you can sit in an arcade cabinet and just start playing against other players, you if you just want to play a casual match or you just want to play your ranked stuff, all you have to do is just press on your icon or press square if you're playing on PlayStation and then select casual, select ranked, and just hang out. And um, I always I always implore people to use the option to actually you know, join, especially if you're trying to do something else, especially if you're trying to train and you forget that you have it on because it will auto join you. <laughs> and I was like, wait, I didn't want to do that. I just want to train for a little bit, but it happens. I will say that for Street Fighter VI, this has potential to be huge. I am looking forward to playing around with the roster when this game fully releases. I am interested in seeing how World Tour pans out. And I'm interested in seeing uh, all the new additions to this game. I think it's going to be great. I think because of the net code and just how functional everything is and just how impactful the drive meter is. I just think that there's so much potential in this game. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun for both casual players and hardcore players. After playing the beta, I think the only thing I'm left wondering about is whether or not Capcom is going to implement a system in which those with the modern control scheme can only play each other. Now, the only reason I'm saying that is because I really feel like in some of the games I spectated, especially watching other people from different cabinets, watching someone go from like classic controls to modern and just watching that modern person just get crushed by someone who had some crazy combo strings. I think that lack of control is eventually going to bite back at you. And I think there's going to be players who want to play this game and not want to switch. And I think at some point, especially with casual matchmaking, unless you keep modern control schemes low, you are going to see people get very frustrated when they have to go up with someone who is playing in classic and just has higher matchmaking than you. I wonder how that's going to work or if they're going to do anything about it. I'm also wondering if just how far someone's going to get with modern controls. I think the highest I saw was uh, bronze and it was pretty impressive watching them play. They're actually doing a really good job. It wasn't just mashing. They were very deliberate and very patient. Really like that. So that was really the only thing I wondered about because after having played modern for just a couple of matches, I just feel like it's uncomfortable because I just wasn't able to kind of get the strings I wanted, the strings that I was used to. But beyond that, I think Street Fighter VI is just primed to be a big hit. And for fighting game fans out there, we're going to be eating good. I'm hoping that Tekken 8 releases this year because Mortal Kombat 1 is coming out in September. And it wouldn't make sense for Tekken to just miss out on this opportunity to, let's say, potentially save the best for last. Even though, me personally, I think Street Fighter VI is just one of those games that's going to have a nice little leg up. And I wouldn't put it past them to kind of have a DLC character or something in store just to kind of match the hype for Mortal Kombat 1 and Tekken 8. But I really do believe that Tekken 8 will release this year. And that is going to do it for this video. We are doing a giveaway for one copy of Street Fighter VI. Like I said in the beginning, all I have to do is like, comment, subscribe. And that's pretty much how you enter. We'll have it go live until May 29th. And then a winner will be chosen at random the next day via their comment. And then afterwards, I'll select that person, get in touch with them. And then I'll either shoot them over a digital code or... I'll send a digital gift card, which will be worth the amount of the uh, Street Fighter VI. I really enjoyed this beta. I thought that this is probably the most fun and most accessible Street Fighter that we have seen in quite some time. I think this game is going to be a massive hit. 
But let me know in the comments how you felt about the open beta, if you got around to it, if you kind of skipped out on it because there was no dedicated train, you didn't want to sit in a cabinet and run at the risk of having someone interrupt you. I get that, I feel you. I'm hoping people aren't knocking it for that. I'm hoping that people feel that by the time it gets its full release, if you had any issues with the netcode, the netcode will be fixed. I didn't really have too much problems, but I feel like Street Fighter VI is a massive step up from Street Fighter V. And I just love the fact that you have all these new systems that people can use and abuse and that it's gotten far more accessible because of the modern controls. Now, I'm not, you know, obviously going to bash anyone for button mashing. I do that too, especially when I'm in a corner. I still don't know how to get out of it. <laughs> but I think that this game is a lot of fun and I'm hoping to see some of you in the comments below put your dang, put your tag in because here at Pixelated Thoughts, I'm really the only person who plays fighting games and I would love to play with some of you guys in some community created tournaments. As a bonus, I'm gonna leave up the footage of me getting smashed in Street Fighter Six by that Kimberly in the second round. So enjoy. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll talk to you next time.